guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining in today as you can see behind me we are gearing up for Christmas minis so I'm shooting the promo today and my son is gonna be my subject you know us photographers we always use our children so I'm going to go ahead and let him get in there but I just wanted to give you guys just a little peek of what the setup is gonna look like come day of so here we go so we have the tree we've got cookies this is gonna have milk in it um, all of this setup I'm like truly in love with it forgive the rest of my studio it's a hot mess we're still like in working days so but I'm loving the little Santa bags that we have and then I tried to keep as many vintage pieces as possible again all of these props are in studio except for the bed frame which I break down regularly but I'm like really really loving it we've got this little red truck we've got our cookies our marshmallows our garlands just some blankets pillows everybody loves teddy bears for christmas and then we got some more old toys so i'm really really loving it the backdrop is from kate backdrops and um right here uh you'll see in the finished images i'm going to put a little overlay to kind of give it more of a Christmassy feel but so far I'm absolutely loving this my son decorated the tree and he did such a good job very very proud of him and now he has on his vintage pajamas that's why it's so easy working with other people's children my son he wants to play he wants to make crazy faces I would have done less work with someone else's kid so I'm very very happy about the turnout like I'm really excited to see what they came out like like Randy you can see the back of camera but I'm excited to kind of put it all together and see exactly what it's gonna look like 
and all of that good stuff so i'm really really looking forward to um getting this out there so that my families can see what we have for christmas this is going to be for my kids if parents do happen to dress up they're more than welcome to be in it but for the most part this is definitely for kids um this is a twin size bed so my parents can get on it as you see i'm sitting on it so there's more than enough support and um i put the wedge in last minute because I didn't realize I didn't have a pillow for him to lay on but I'm like oh I kind of need to, I want him to have the sleeping shot and then you guys see me change my lighting to see if I liked it I did not like it on the other side so again I just went with my first gut I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it from the right side and I'm kind of loving what I've seen back of camera this backdrop I wasn't so sure of because I was like oh it's a five by seven you guys so it does not touch the floor I have it quite raised so that I can get a bigger scene but I knew my bed was going to block it so there is no backdrop past these pillows like you can see the very end of the backdrop past the pillow so that was what the pillows were for and then this is my actual Christmas tree um, that we have in our home and then these are our actual garlands I didn't spend very much on this setup uh, the bed frame I got off of Facebook marketplace I got it for 20 bucks um, this is my son's mattress <laughs> these blankets all of this stuff is just things I accumulated over time and granted our tree is blue but we have the traditional red pieces in here um, some green but I kind of wanted the blue for more of a a cooler tone just in case parents don't come with the the red pajamas and all of that stuff maybe they'll come with you know my son has on burgundy and blue I really want them to wear the vintage pajamas that's the whole purpose of this shoot is to go more vintage than you know our modern eh, modern regular thermal pajamas and by the time you guys actually see this my Christmas setup will be live for purchase so if you happen to be in the Jacksonville Kings and Georgia area um, Brunswick, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I've even had clients come all the way from Orange Park, Middleburg, St. Augustine, Savannah. So if you're in that area and you want this set up, I am happy to have you guys put in. And um, like I said, it's live, so the link is gonna be down in the description below. But I am really excited to see how cool these turn out. This year I'm doing minis just a little different. Usually I do Santa. And last year we did Santa. I'll include some pictures of Santa and the babies right here. So Santa last year was amazing. Santa the year before that same guy was amazing. And um, in this area we don't typically have access to a black Santa. So I felt good being one of the only people offering it in my area and um with covid to keep our santa safe to make sure that his health is uh first and foremost to make sure that him and his wife are safe i just decided against not doing like just against doing um santa this year because you know our elders are very very important he has children he has grandchildren and the last thing i want is for him to come in contact with anybody that might potentially cause harm to him and his family so um the way i'm gonna run my minis is the way i run all of my sessions after every client i'm going to spray disinfectant all over the, the setup whatever was touched um the same cups the same plates all of that will not be used that wasn't used last year anyway um last year and the year before that we changed out cups and changed out plates just because ill why would you not so we'll have um some cookies that you know you gotta just gotta be safe with the type of food products that you offer the parents are gonna let me know whether they want their child to have milk or a fake milk glass just something in the picture to you know look the part like as you can see with my son I, I didn't put any milk in there I just left it empty so just in case there are parents who don't want the milk we have some that'll be empty and then we have some with uh, multiple straws and all of that that um, the kids could use I have quite a few glasses I'm gonna open these minis up to six families um, maybe eight but more than likely just six families um, to keep the traffic down and uh, all of that good stuff so I'm 
pumped i know you guys hear youtubers all the time like, i'm so excited but no seriously i'm really excited because this came together so much better than i i put in my mind there were some moments where i was just like oh this is not gonna work this is not gonna come together this is not my space is too small blah 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 and it actually came together quite beautifully and i'm genuinely in loved in loved what i'm genuinely in love with how it came out and I'm very very proud to see how it was put together and it's like you couldn't tell me in pictures that this wasn't a real window like it just looks so good so I'm pretty pumped I'm pretty pumped um, I'm so thankful that my son was some type of cooperative and um, yeah so I will see you guys in the next video definitely be sure to like subscribe comment below all of that good stuff i hope to see you guys there and i hope to see you guys in my next video and i'm gonna try to be a little better about uploads me doing two a week is not cutting it and then like i said my phone broke my my other phone broke so a lot of my footage is gone from that but i do want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers i'm like I literally watched as the 1,000th person subscribed. So I'm like super pumped. Next milestone is, I guess, 2,000. Who knows? Next milestone is 5,000, 10,000. I don't know. Let's see how far we can get this channel. Um, I'm just excited that you guys are watching and actually learning and growing from this channel. So again, it blesses me. Uh, to help you guys and to put it out there and to have people to talk to because I am nuts and Yeah, I'm just excited. So I will see you guys in the next video I'm gonna stop talking this video is probably long enough already and I love you guys with all my heart Thank you for a thousand subscribers family. We did it. So Let's keep growing. Bye guys mm -hmm.